The hull girder of an oil tanker collapsed during discharging operations at an oil terminal. The vessel didn't break in two, but the foreship and aft ship rested on the bottom, causing a minor oil spill at the terminal. The ship's bottom plating and adjacent structure were found to be heavily buckled and distorted, as well as the ship's sides from the bottom to the upper deck. The vessel had arrived at the terminal in an unacceptable partly loaded condition, with centre tanks two to four of five empty, as well as the two segregated ballast tanks amidships. For some reason, the discharge operation had started by emptying the pair of cargo wing tanks at around amidships, which put the vessel in an extreme hogging condition. Calculations carried out afterwards showed that the bending moment at the point of collapse had exceeded the maximum acceptable value for harbour condition by more than 100%. The limit for harbour condition is approximately 40 to 50% above that of the seagoing condition. The vessel was reported to be in good condition, but with very little corrosion at the time of accident. The lessons to be learned from this are, the Classification Society rules give criteria for the minimum buckling strength of the longitudinal structure in order to prevent collapse of the hull girder. For tankers, it is the deck structure that is normally the most vulnerable. The vessel had originally been equipped with an approved loading instrument and an approved loading manual that was carried on board. However, at the time of the accident, it was claimed that that was no means to assess the longitudinal strength available on board, this being the main reason for the accident. No discharge operation should have started without being sure that the execution of such was not detrimental to the safety of the ship. Moreover, in this case, to start the discharging operation by emptying tanks around amidships does not make much sense. When no means of assessment of longitudinal strength is possible, no discharge operation is to be started. The point is equally relevant to the loading of the vessel.